Hey guys, so today we're going on an adventure here locally in Muskegon. We're gonna go hit up Muskegon Lake and try to film a shipwreck under the ice and then uh, go check out the channel. The water's open, so I'll dive by the submarine and the NOAA vessel, I think. Look for any treasures and uh, we'll get back with you. Alright, we got a lot of gear, but we're gonna go have some fun. So here we go. So the boat that is sunk in Muskegon Lake, that's actually an old fishing boat, and it's not far off of uh, kind of a fishing dock area. I think it's still active. Um, but that one, my mentor had told me about quite a few years ago, and I dove on it once or twice, but it's always been so pitch black down at depth and it's only about 25 feet deep but there's a layer of just sediment that hangs around 20 feet deep there in Muskegon Lake so it's always been a challenge so we're going to see today if uh, with the ice and everything if uh, the visibility is better so we'll cut a hole in the ice send the ROV down and try to find the wreck so we'll see. using my uh, Google Maps because I know where the wreck is but we're here and we just need to go up a little bit more so we're gonna just keep going and being careful watching for any open water but it's pretty safe
pan the camera down and try to see. Turn the light on. We're at 10 feet deep. Pretty dark by the looks of it. 15 feet, I need some more cable. I think this rests around 25 feet deep. 19 feet. 21. 22. Thirty feet. I see a lot of silt and sediment. There's the bottom. I'm at thirty three feet, so about thirty five feet deep here. We're just going to skim along the bottom here and uh, try to keep track of it. Alright, so the shipwreck's just coming into view. Um, I searched around for a little bit and then finally decided to turn around because I thought I was a little bit too far from um, where, where I went in originally. So after I turned around, I saw this upslope and I, I knew it sat on the ledge there. So um, I was able to see the wreck and now I'm just kind of figuring out where I am and being really cautious. But right away you see a tremendous amount of fish um, in this wreck. And then when I had dove it before, um, there was again a lot of crappie and catfish. All the shiny stuff you see are crappie for the most part. So what we're looking at here, the ship, um, the, the fishing boat is actually sitting on its port side. So sitting on its left side pretty hard on that drop off. It looks like it's a wooden vessel and we're looking at the deck right now. Yeah, buddy. Dad is filming. Come here. So this is some of the most um, amount of fish I've ever seen on a wreck and it's pretty interesting in a small um, inland lake there's a shipwreck that most people don't know about and it's just loaded with fish all right you can help me film so the visibility was absolutely terrible um, and it, it's always pretty much like this in Muskegon Lake around 20 feet deep there's just a, a layer of of haze that just hangs um, so you have to get really close to see anything um, we're getting pretty close into the wreck here but as I back off you know it just it disappears and you lose sight of where you are and if you kick up any of that sediment and silt uh, you're totally blind So here, I don't know if this is a, a cargo hatch or something in the deck or if the deck's just falling away, but loaded with fish. There's a bass down there uh, mid-screen at the bottom. So we're going to head towards the bow now. I uh, have never actually saw the stern. I dove on it in person a couple years ago and the conditions were just so terrible. Uh, so I came up. Um, I did see the bow and the side and everything and today I wasn't able to see the stern either. It just got it got too dark um, and it, it just disappeared for the most part. So I would like to try diving on it in person again, uh, just not through the ice. Maybe, maybe in the spring I'll do a little checkout dive on it and uh, play around. Here we're getting towards the bow.
kind of side slipping with the with the ROV, um, trying to get a shot of the deck and everything, and um, seeing all the fish peeking out of every every nook and cranny. And here you can just see at the extreme angle it's laying on. So I think on the uh, the top side here, it's about 20 feet deep. Uh, we're showing about 20 feet deep here, and then on the bottom side, it sits on that slope, so um, gets down to like 30, 35, I saw. I do have an anchor in here somewhere, because a few years ago, I came to dive on it and um, put my anchor down, and when it was time to go, I pulled it up, and it just didn't come, so I'm pretty sure I went right through the wreck. Uh, when I tried anchoring. So unintentional, but I cut the rope and it's in, in there somewhere. And that's my might be where it stays. So not a whole lot to see on this side. You can see that um, film of sediment just hanging in in the air there, or in the water rather. So we just cruise looking for any obstructions and uh, checking out what's down there. So that's about it. Um, not too uh, many things sticking out, nothing too exciting, but definitely nice to see a lot of different fish down there. Um, on, on the wrecks that I normally dive on, you don't see a whole lot. A little bit of silt from the bottom, but we're back.